first step to performing a cricothyroidotomy is to identify the location of the membrane with the use of landmarks. The easiest landmark is the thyroid cartilage. The thyroid cartilage can be identified by the prominence in the neck seen here. Your target is just below this landmark and feels like a small dent. After locating the site, tension should be placed on the skin and the trachea should be secured. Reconfirm the site location and prepare to make the incision. Remove the sheath of the scalpel and make a vertical incision over the membrane. In a tactical environment, a vertical incision is recommended due to the reduced risk of involvement of the vessels of the neck. A vertical incision also provides a larger window to visualize the anatomy as compared to a horizontal incision. Reconfirm the location of the membrane and replace your finger with the blade, piercing the membrane horizontally. Make another small incision in the direction of the belly of the blade, then rotate the scalpel 180 degrees and make another small incision. When the membrane is pierced, a gasp of air may be heard or bubbling blood may appear. Your finger should now be removed from the site and the scalpel should be used to maintain control of the airway until a hook or hemostat can be inserted. Insert the hook horizontally until it reaches the back of the trachea. Rotate the hook 90 degrees and apply gentle upward pressure. You now have control of the trachea. Remove the scalpel and place it nearby in case it is needed to enlarge the opening. If the casualty is wearing a Molly style vest, the webbing makes a convenient holster for the scalpel. You are now ready to secure the casualty's airway with the tube. Insert the tube into the trachea, then lean the hook forward and remove it. Inflate the cuff on the tube, check the bulb, remove the stylet from the tube, then confirm placement with a BVM or another method. After confirming placement, you can secure the tube with the provided ties, or you can remove the ties and secure the tube with a serpent wrap. To secure the tube with a serpent wrap, insert one wire through the hole on the tube. Pass the second wire and the strap under the casualty's neck. Insert the second wire through the other hole and bend both wires. Finally, tighten the straps to secure the tube. The procedure is now complete.